welcome back to my channel thank you so much for joining me today I wanted to share these gorgeous little colouring boots now I was aware of colouring chicks on um, Etsy and I have purchased a couple of the PDFs now I didn't realise they came out with the actual colouring boots it is printed on uh, Amazon paper but I didn't have a problem with this one I have actually finished the page out of this so I purchased this one first and then the day after I ordered that one so I've got book one and then book three the book two that um, I came across was more line art and I didn't want that I just wanted the grayscale so let's go to number three first so I'm doing it backwards this is the mermaid one and it's a really really lovely sweet book I'm definitely definitely going to be doing this uh, little title page here with the fish I really love the grayscale in this it flattens out beautifully as well this book not all Amazon printed um, books do that so you've just got all the names of the different pages and we're straight into it look how adorable how adorable fancy mermaid this one And we've got Oceans Love, so there is definitely two different styles. So you get your more cutesy ones and then your more realistic, I say realistic, realistic. So that's more of the cutesy one, Unicorn Mermaid. This is the one that I have completed and I did give this paper a good test and it has buckled ever so slightly as you can see here. No, I just used Distress Ink on the background. I wasn't doing to use, use proper watercolour and do my uh, my lines because I, this paper will not take it. Maybe if I gessoed it, it might be okay. But I just used Prismacolor and I didn't have, was it Prismacolor? No, it wasn't. It was Luminance. It was the Caran d'Ache Luminance pencils. And I didn't have a trouble whatsoever with blending with this uh, paper. We've got some stickles as well. It's just the buckling, but you could iron iron the page. But yeah, I think she's adorable. Absolutely adorable. But you can see that it has a bled through and that is just distressing. So that just goes to show what the paper is actually like. So we've got Lovely Mermaid. Did I say the name of that one? My Lovely Fish. Lovely Mermaid. Fishy darlings. It's just so adorable. This is the one that I nearly did, but I chose that other one, so I think this is going to be my next one in this book. So cute with the dolphin. Song of the Sea. This one's just called Mermaid. Now, this is one of the PDFs that I did purchase and print out, and now that is my, in one of my binders. Mommy Mermaid, really, really beautiful. I did do a darker skin tone on the printer as well. Whimsy Mermaid, so they are quite grayscale, but I like that about this book. If you're not sure about where to add your shading, for instance, in the face, the tail, this just shows you where to put that colour. Takes the guessing work out of it. Aqua. I can't even say that I am. Regina. Regina. I think that's how you say it. Oh, she's got fine. I hadn't noticed that. So she is like the shark. But she's got octopus um, tentacles. So is she meant to be an octopus or is she meant to be a shark? I'm not sure about that one. Deep Sea Mermaid. Oh, that looks to me in the background, not this one. That's a fish. That looks like a shark. It wouldn't be one of my videos if the dogs weren't back in next door. I do apologise. Oh, she's got a fish over her head and it's draped round her like a scarf. Atlantica. And she's wearing a shell as a hat. A peculiar. But you could go with some really fun skin tones. 
it doesn't have to be your normal skin tone you could do her pink purple orange whatever you like with her being a mermaid this is one of the the cutesy ones again they're just adorable absolutely adorable these would be really nice colored and framed in a, in a little girl's room so gorgeous the little dolphin so she's doing a nice pose is that part of her I don't know if that's part of her tail of fins or I could have done this picture for Kirsty's um, I was looking three pictures for crabs and I couldn't find one and I ended up doing a, a Hannah Charles on one oh, I could keep myself I might just do that one anyway as an extra we'll see that's a big shark again, is it a shark? Another octopus. That seaweed is just about covering her boobies up. <laughs> so another portrait close up shot. So that is part of a fish. Well no, that it's two fish. it must be two fish because there's a tail here and a tail there. This one's beautiful as well, wow. And you could add a very slight blue background to show that she's underwater. This one did confuse me because I was thinking, why is this in the mermaid's one? She sat there holding a hedgehog and she looks like she's an elf. She's got little pointy ears. This one confused me. The last couple in the book, why is that in a mermaid's book? She's got a fancy smancy hat on. Another really adorable one. Adorable. So that that to me looks less grayscaled. That's just a thank you page, and that's just showing the other colouring boots that she's got available. See, is it that one? See, so number two, that is not available on Amazon at the moment, and that's the grayscaled version. I think it's just the line out one um, that's available. Yeah, because that's grayscale, that's line out. I will have to double check that actually. Okay. We've got little snippets on the back. So this one I haven't coloured in yet. Like I said, I only got it a day or two ago. And yeah, because I haven't even turned the pages properly yet in this one. So it does give you all the information and what mediums are best to use in this book as well. Look at that cat. A very posh cat that is, until look at his glasses. So you've got the names again. See, it says bonus, so I'm wondering whether those are meant to be from a different book. So this looks to me like a different sort of style. So I just move over and just pick a page. Right, then for instance, if I just do that, this one on this side looks a little bit more sketchy to me. I could be wrong. But they definitely look more sketchy and a little bit less grayscaled. Whoa, now that is a uh, smart dress, isn't it? She's got super duper high heels on as well. Gone are the days of them for me. It's like a fashion magazine, almost, this, isn't it? I'm surprised something like, like that is not in the name of this. Yeah, because they've all got really nice clothes. And look at the little budget with them all on. That's cute. Yeah, it, it, it's a little bit like a fashion magazine, this one. So if you like doing dresses, this would be perfect for you. That one's really grayscale. And this one's a little bit more sketchy. So there is a, there's a good variety in this one. Oh, the Scorpion one. Nice iron. Scorpio, Scorpio, I said that in a video. My husband was laughing at me because I said it wrong. She's really pretty. Oh, is that meant to be like Queen of Heart? But she reminds me a little bit of Har Harley. Is it Harley Quinn? I've never seen them films before, but I've seen the makeup. That reminds me of her. Oh, a lovely awesome page. Oranges, reds, browns. So go with the little squirrel. Now, I've just seen one that I definitely like. That is gorgeous. That is absolutely gorgeous. 
this one I do recognise off the Etsy store. I don't think all of these are on the Etsy store, but some of them are. Look at her. She looks plastic. Look at her skin, how shiny it is. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. See the difference? See that one? And then that page that I've just been on, that I'm probably not going to get be able to get back to. There we go. See the difference in the grey scale? That one looks just a little bit more sketchy than that one. She's got a snake on her head for some reason. Odd lady. And yeah, so we're going back to the same style that's in the other one. Oh, I recognise this one. Where do I recognise this from? Colour with Chloe did this. I'm sure she did. Tell me if I write in the comments. I'm pretty sure Colour with Chloe did this. I remember seeing her on Instagram. More of a sketchy one. Oh, she looks like a bride. Definitely seen this on Etsy as a PDF. Oh gosh, she's got a big boobies, hasn't she? <laughs> and a very, very, very slim waist. And she's got a very no-nonsense sort of face, her, hasn't she? Like, I'm not taking any rubbish. <laughs> and back to like the fashion. I can imagine that being like in a fashion magazine. And that is the end. That's the end of the book. There's all the credits and then you've got all the little snippets. I'm pretty sure Chloe Chloe did that one. But well, I'm going to try and find that other one, the grayscale one, because I think these are absolutely beautiful. And yes, I love using watercolour, but it'd just be unfortunate that I can't use them um, in this book. I'd be able to scan it and print it on better paper, but when you buy the book, I love colouring in the book if I've got the book to do. But anyway, if you did like the video, please leave me a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!